know, it's kind of been the broken record again, but what, what kind of message for you guys just to keep, keep battling, keep fighting? That's, that's kind of the story, isn't it? Yeah, you know, um, I, I think one thing I thought we did a, didn't do a good job with because I'm absolutely, I've, I've raised the responsibility flag. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to take care of my coaches and my players because I'm the ones that wanted every one of them in our uniform. So that won't stop. You'll have to kill me to get that to change. Um, I thought we played in a fog a little bit last week from the standpoint Mississippi State's got a nice club, all that. But, uh, you know, uh, for yesterday's fog is a sin, and uh, we absolutely have, have been through a patch. You'll go through it again in life, and, and, and now I'm thinking about, you know, how to handle that. But a fog does not deserve the rest of this run. I, I, Andy made a good point to starting last week. We got three consecutive weeks of recent national champions that were, were played. And uh, tough stretches for each of those have not eluded them either. And it's part of playing in this league to where you got to be really good. And I think this league is good. I think it's better than it's ever been, actually. But you can't let the, the fog set in on you uh, because the game's only going to reward your ability to be able to shove it in the zone and, 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 and really make a quality pitch. And if you just three or four hitters come to the plate and you can't make a pitch at game time, you're not going to be rewarded. And when it's time to get a hit, um, you can't swing the throw to the floor either. Um, we, we've got to be able to, to have moments, and that's really escaped us on the weekends is when we've had an opportunity to be successful is those moments, and that's what we have to walk through. So I want the fog gone, and I want a ton of gratitude the rest of this year because we march into our postseason right now. Our, our postseason began today, in all honesty. It's not a problem. It's happened before. And it's absolutely landed on us. So I want, I want these guys to be thankful. Um, I want these guys to play with it. Uh, if not, you know, uh, we, we have to intervene and make sure whoever's out there is playing with a ton of gratitude. I don't know if you noticed today, but if you watched uh, Caleb Freeman and Chris Stanfield running on, on and off the field, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's what we all can respect. Uh, we're going to do some of those things. I think everybody got a hit today except for one guy. So I think that stuff's important. Both pitchers had their stuff set. and. We're going to show a, a ton of great gratitude for the rest of this stretch because we're not going to wait till next year. The program, when we reset this, and we've all invested, worked too hard for this program not to get back to competitive baseball. Zero concern on my part. But but how we act and how we roll and, and the gratitude that we show for each and every day. If there's only one word the rest of the way, we're going to show a lot of gratitude uh, for what we get to do every day. And. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But our postseason is absolutely now. So dig in and, and, and fight here the rest of the way. And hopefully some two guys got their stuff set today. Um, you know, it, it's hard if you looked out there. And that's a tougher lineup for us, but it's an excuse. We're at this stage here and guys are out and it's giving great opportunity. And that's what I want guys to do is to make the most of it like a, a Freeman has done and, um, and, and some others um, that you know, you just look at the lineup and you look at the, the less at bats and maybe the production, but that's where we're at. And all these guys can, uh, can contribute if they, if they play with some great gratitude down the stretch. Brian. You mentioned Ike Irish probably out. How's it look for Mainers and uh, Bobby Pierce? So this yeah, Mainers is getting better and better. I, I think we could have played him today. Caden Green came back today and, uh, and played. Um, I, I, I could see Mainers being in the mix, but he's starting to graduate through through, um, through rounds of batting practice, but, but game at bat. So the game got a little short. We, I, I'd like to get, have gotten him in at bat today. Uh, but I think he's close. I think he can be available. And uh, uh, Bobby's BP at Starful just kind of deteriorated each day. And, and sometimes it's one hand on the bat and he's trying. He did take batting practice today after being off Monday. So I, I think his is a little less doubtful, uh, but we'll, we'll stay at it. You know, he's got, He's got kind of the confidence of like we can't hurt it anymore, and this is the last go around, and he's going to grip and squeeze and play defense probably like he did last week. And as soon as that thing feels good enough to, to be himself at the plate, we'll get him back in there. But Mainers looks the most likely to, to help us this weekend. Um, I, I talked about Ike, and uh, you know, Caden Green looks like he's back and available for us. Now. And how do you think you'll line up your pitching uh, this weekend? Probably the same. I mean, we were looking for something there. I think uh, Tilly got out of there with 23 pitches. I just, my challenge to him, can it look 
the same today and it looked the same regardless of outcome, regardless of who you're playing, regardless of that, that growth deal. Um, but I, I think we'd probably do it the same way. I, I actually thought that we were competitive in, in, in all three of our, our starts and startful. And um, really, I thought the doubleheader, I know there were seven many games, but I thought both guys got the game underway and gave us a chance to be in it. And um, you, through, I think Joseph, at least last week, last week, maybe the week before, I can't remember, but what's the plan for this weekend? Yeah, we're we, using this weekend? or we, we skipped the start with him. This was probably Joseph's start. And so we put Allsup in there. He just uh, didn't feel 100% in, in the last bullpen. So um, I don't think there's any changes or anything we do different. We'll, uh, we'll see and maybe try it tomorrow, Thursday, to see if he can help us this weekend. But we. We missed a start, <clears throat> and, and thankful, thankfully Chase was able to step in and do a great job. Right, I'd like to follow up on super quickly. Like you mentioned, kind of the the pitching was, I guess, being being dead and startful. I think that was the second fewest runs you've allowed in an SEC weekend series so far. Like, is that maybe was that some of like the encouraging signs you wanted to see from that staff, or is this just the pitching is what it is at this point, and it's just kind of getting through, getting through it? Yeah, I think there's a, a place to make a jump and take off. This is amateur baseball and it, and it happens. And uh, I want us, if we keep being more competitive like that consistently enough, we'll, we'll have a chance to win more games. Uh, there's no doubt. Um, but that, that's a step is getting back to a point where you're consistent with your peers on the weekend. This is a high level of baseball that you, that you have to do week in and week out in this league. And we, we know that. And it just hadn't been up uh, to par enough to have a chance to win enough games. Last weekend would out allow you to be able to to do that more often. So hopefully we're starting to see some signs of growing. The challenge for us is in the moments when when it's close like that to be able to one inning to, to, to get a win or you know we had a, we had a ton of opportunities too to take a swing and, and really impact the one game if not both. Um, so that's that's been part of it too because it's a huge gap. It's like whenever we've pitched it pretty good, we haven't hit. And whenever we've hit, we haven't pitched. We we can't find each other uh, yet, <laughs> at least at, at this stage.